what is up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a little bit more of way of the hunter in today's video um we're going to do a little uh pheasant hunt um we're following the main campaign the main objective uh we have to harvest three kilograms of of pheasant meat which shouldn't be too too difficult um we've just started the game uh we got our shotgun equipped but we're just going to take a nice gentle stroll through the uh, through this beautiful landscape, and uh, we'll see if we can bag ourselves some uh, bag ourselves some pheasants. Now, I mean, straight away, my first initial impressions of the game, um, it's definitely uh, it's definitely really really nice. The scenery, the way the guns play, um, there's a few things here and there which I wouldn't mind, obviously having changed but i'm sure over the course of this game's life cycle there'll be bigger and better things to come a few technical issues polished and ironed out um and yeah basically just go from there to be honest you know i mean i've been following this game for a little while now um and it's very very nice just to get my hands on it uh it is absolutely breathtaking the the backdrop just just the the entire scenery itself you know, there, there are a few audio issues here and there. But, I mean, overall, it's a, it's a fantastic experience. A little bit more on the side of the, uh, the more purist, you know, the, it's more sort of a, of a hunting simulator in comparison to something like Call of the Wild. You're definitely not going to find animals, you know, every corner you turn. You know, it's, it's quite a tough quite a tough gig you really have to uh pay attention to what you're doing patience is is definitely key but first impression straight away you know playing this it's it's incredible it is incredible i recommend anybody that's that's into their hunting to definitely give this game a go you know it's it's obviously going to have its issues but you know what game doesn't you know, in, in its early stages as well, you know, there are going to be some bigger and better things to come. You know, in the future, I hope to see some new new content, you know, stuff like that. Oh, I think we've got a, uh, we've got a uh, badger or something running across there. Oh, yeah. No, this game does a really, really good job. It's very immersive, very relaxing, you know. Switch your brain off and just enjoy it for what it is. You know, that's what you've got to do. But let's see if we can find ourselves some uh, some pheasants. Now, I know that there were some pheasants just up past this. I've just literally uh, started playing the game today. So there's an awful lot of stuff which I, I, I have still yet to learn. But I mean, so far, it's all it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, the weapon sounds amazing. The, the loading and the equipping your weapon animations are pretty cool too. Yeah, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we managed to get ourselves a, a couple of juicy pheasants. You know, running water as well. Yeah. The sound. Now, I know a lot of people um, will probably pick up on that. You know, maybe the the running water sound is probably a little bit too loud. Um, but it's all subjective. But as you can see, just the scenery. It kind of reminds me uh, a little bit of, you know, like the scenery in Red Dead Redemption, you know, the backdrops and stuff. It, it's definitely a beautiful game, that's for sure. You know, I never thought I would compare it to uh, Red Dead Redemption, but graphically it's, it's getting there, isn't it? You know, 
know, is it is it fair to compare it to something like Call of the Wild? I think the only similarities which this game has with Call of the Wild is the fact that they're, you know, they're they're hunting simulators at the end of the day. Um, now I know that Call of the Wild's been out for I think it's about four or five years now, um, so it's definitely got a lot more in terms of variety going for it. But do you know there's just something about this game where the hunter it just I don't know it's almost stripped back in the way you know bare bones you know it's it's nice it's it's less how would I put it it's it's very much. An easygoing, relaxed. You can do it at your own pace. You haven't got to follow the missions if you don't want to. Do you know what I mean? It's it's very nice just to be able to to kick back and 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 earn some money, unlock some new weapons, and and hunt all different types of game. I mean, the weapon ballistics. You know, when you when you kill an kill an animal. I mean, hopefully in this video we'll uh, we'll be able to catch ourselves a couple of pheasants, but. You know, I'll show you the ballistics within the game. You know, it's it's incredible for the for the bullet travel. It shows you, you know, it going through the animal. You know, it's very, 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 uh, very well done. You know, for the autonomy of of an animal, anyway. But we'll see if we can find ourselves some pheasants. I'm yet to use the shotgun, actually. I'm preparing my ears for it. Oh, I think I can hear some. Yep, there's a big old group over there. Now, I'm not too sure uh, what their senses are like. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to, uh, you know, to, to really gauge and figure that out. Like I say, there's an awful lot we need to learn from this game. But I'm sure over time, we will get there. I don't know what the range is for this. Like I say, it's very nice to be able to see your gun. There's there's definitely a little bit of clipping, as you can see. But those sorts of things are negligible, you know. For me, they are, anyway. What have we got for zoom? Yeah, you're going to have to get pretty damn close to these things. Whoa. That was a, a pretty intense shotgun round. I'm not going to lie. I think I fired both barrels off at the same time. Not sure if that's an option to, to only fire one. Uh, what have we got? Did I get it? I'm fairly confident I shot it. Definitely saw the blood splat anyway. Yeah, there's the blood splat. And there it is. I mean for the for the ballistics, you look you see it you can watch all the pellets go through the bird. You uh, know, pretty, pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. Obviously, you've got your different slots as well. You know, it tells you the wind, the gallop caliber, you know, all that sort of stuff. So it's 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 very in-depth, you know, with what you get. You get a lot of information regarding the animal as well. It's weight to sell, all that good stuff. So, like I say, it's very intricate, you know, and that's what you want to see with a, with a hunting game, really. You know, you want to see the, the, like I say, the ballistics, you know, the penetration, where you've hit the animal, all that good stuff. It gives you a lot of statistics 
um, based on the kill, you know. And like I said, that's exactly what we want when it comes to hunting. We will sell that. We've got to get a couple more. But I was not expecting that shotgun to kick back like that. They're definitely very, they're definitely tough to see, you know, but there are plenty of them. <laughs> Amazing stuff. It's quite brutal, actually. But, you know, all is good. All is good. Right, we will sell that. And we just need to grab ourselves one more. But like I say, guys, I will be covering this game quite a lot. You know, if you do like this sort of content, then please like and subscribe. And I will, uh, you know, I'll continue to, uh, to upload videos on it, you know, because I'm very interested in this. Like I say, I'm a big advocate for, for Call of the Wild. You know, I'm, you know, a long-term player for that. So it's nice to be able to break it up a little bit, you know, and play something different. Get another developer's sort of take on, on the whole hunting experience, so to speak. I think there's some more up here. Their sense is a very, I mean, you know, we're dealing with pheasants here, you know, so they are very, oh, there we go. I would say they're very kind of dulled down, but it's nice because they're not, they're not really intelligent pheasants, turkeys especially. So, you know, I'm not too sure whether turkeys are in this game or not, but it would definitely be nice to see if they aren't. Oh my. That's what I mean, you just walk straight over them. Probably shouldn't have taken that shot. There's no, like, walking either, you know. It's very... You're either doing, a, a, like, a gentle jog or you're running. Yeah, that would definitely be nice to be kind of toned back a little bit, you know. There we are. go say it's very satisfying to use very very satisfying to use but not too bad not too bad well that mission is complete like I say if you guys like this sort of content Please like and subscribe, turn that bell notification on, that way you don't miss any future videos regarding this game and other simulation games all the same. 
Uh, really appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, but until next time, guys, like I say, take it easy, stay safe. And I shall catch you all in the next one.